Uh, one thing I try to um, keep in mind in my playing is a concept called economy of motion. What I'm doing, what I mean by that is I try to get as much as I can without having to move my hand around a lot. Uh, I lock my hand in a position and uh, when it's in a good solid spot it's kind of easier to, to get notes out of it from there. For an example, um, I do a lot of things where I bar two strings and also use another finger and use this joint without having to jump around from string to string. I'm just kind of flopping this joint down on that and then lifting it up. While, while the first original uh, finger stays on the first note, that stays there and this thing will so we get that. Without a lot of motion, I'm getting a lot of notes. Pull off it a little bit. So that's why sometimes I'll hold that on there. In case I do pull up. you can do with that, uh, including three strings, which I use often. The key of C. So not a lot of movement. Basically, I'm just lifting up my hands, putting them down, putting that there, lifting them up, putting them down. So it's pretty easy, uh, with my hand locked in this position, to get a real solid, strong uh, performance out of this without having to move my hand around and waste a lot of energy, motion, and time. Now I'll do a little different uh, pattern. I go to, to this note here. Slow. Also, some of the notes are ringing when I'm playing. Making that chord. So it kind of makes it, uh, brings it all together because the chord you hear ringing underneath the notes. But it's just a way of getting a lot of notes without a lot of motion from your hand. Therefore, it's creating a lot of fluidity by not having to jump from place to place and uh, maybe having a problem with your timing because it takes you time to get from one spot to another. Just uh, one little example. Now here's another example of how uh, economy of motion comes into play, uh, especially with your hand locked in one position and the ability of your fingers made to play more than one note at a time without having to individually finger them. Uh, it's just a simple uh, C major arpeggio. Now you'll see what happens there. Uh, try to break this down in sequence. That's your first note, second. Actually, pull this off just to make that easier. But you notice, as soon as this finger is done with its first basic note, and 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 it can and it's able to let go, it's already heading towards its second position. So that's what I mean by economy of motion. Once it's done, once one finger is done with one thing, it's heading towards its next job. of that just the timing of it is very easy because every every finger is kind of moving in motion in sync with each other for the uh, right hand basically I'm uh, just kind of sliding across and I'm also doing a raking technique which I'll explain basically I hit a note hit it down again with this hand without plucking it and then I pluck the next three and then pull these two And then get the, get the last note that way. So I'm playing. So with the right hand, I'm going. But it sounds like. The raking technique I talked about is where I'm basically just pulling the note, the finger across. Just the that's the whole raking technique. My fingers, this finger just pulling off one, two, three, four, and then pull.
pull off of the last one. In the minor position, I'm using this finger to bar the seven. In the major, it's this finger, in the minor. Similar thing, but a different uh, set of fingers doing a different thing, so it's a good, good to exercise them both. Same principles at work. Oops, I made a mistake there. Happens to the best of us. Anyway, that's the major position. Minor. So you see, economy of motion, I'm not flying around a lot to get that arpeggio. Basically, I just lock my hand in one spot. And then all should roll out pretty easy. So give that a try. Again, apply the same principles. If you have a problem with this lick, pull it apart component by component. If this is a rough move for you, practice that. If that isn't working, practice just that. That's another move. You can practice that on its own. So pull it apart piece by piece and uh, you should have it.